hello. Next Sunday in many churches and many denominations uh, will be the Reign of Christ Sunday. And even if we have heard of Jesus as a king or the king of kings, it's still a bit strange for uh, those of us who are in a liberal and progressive theology to have this image of kingship. Um, so sometimes we will prefer the image of a shepherd and we love this image of shepherd it's found in the bible we just have to think of the beloved and famous psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd it's it's more convenient this there's a relationship we like that even in this sunday uh, lectionary passage from jeremiah chapter 23 we have this image of shepherd However, it does not go, the first part does not necessarily go as we expected when the passage begins with, Woe to shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastures, says the Lord. The shepherd is a very ancient uh, image for a king. In the ancient Near East, it was in the liter literature and, and the document all over. And what we're understanding from here is Jeremiah start to criticize the kings, the leadership of his time for how they fell, how they fell the people, how they let them down. And once again, some people would say, well, nothing new, you know, uh, we also criticize our leaders sometimes because, yes, this disappoint us. Sometimes we just like to criticize. Let's be honest. But yeah, we we struggle to, to look we look in our leaders and say, well, you're supposed to be the best of the best. You know, uh, we give you all those powers and responsibility and and often we're disappointed. And as we continue to read through this Jeremiah passage about this harsh condemnation of shepherds, of kings, of leaders, we read in verse 4, I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them. In verse 5, I will raise up uh, from David a righteous branch. And we say, ah, ha, ha, Jesus. We're talking about Jesus, you know, the, the, the branch of David and shepherd over the people and, and the perfect ruler. That must be Jesus. And Jesus is the answer to our leadership position. If so, so we have this ID and we use this text in that direction. The little problem, the little caveat here is that verse four, I will raise shepherds plural so it's not just one person but plural so some would say well it's jesus and his disciple or 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 with all the prophets yes maybe but what if those shepherds it's all of us and i know it's strange because uh, we have this idea of leaders is them you know someone special and and i cannot be in the leadership position sometimes we hear people saying you know i'm not i'm not important enough i don't know enough i'm, I'm not good enough i don't have power you will say but the thing is all of us have power somehow yes there's a president of the united states of america yes but in our own context, we have power. When we are a teacher, we have power. When we are a police officer, we have power. When we are a journalist, we have power. When we are a parent, we have power. When we're involved in a community group, we have power to make change. So we do have this power. And too often we, we, we you know, outsource this power, we, we refuse this power, we try to pretend it does not exist. But what if we see this call of new shepherds as us? What if we take the initiative and we use our power to, to gather people together, to be purveyor of hope? If we 
use our power to denounce the abuse that we can see every day. If we use our power to refuse to to refuse division, to refuse uh, hatred, racism, homophobia, that we say we cannot accept this. God will raise shepherds. And what if it's us? And what if we're called to use our power? What if we're called to be shepherds? Not called to be the, the big shot, the big wigs, but to be active where we have power, where we are involved in our church, in our family, at work. What if we are these shepherds? What kind of difference would it make? What kind of world would we be able to build? Well, that's my reflection for today. So thank you for watching. I'm Stéphane Vermette. I'm the Lectionary Man. And until we see each other again, have a great week. Take care.